and hello fellow tankers space bandit here with another episode of world of tanks and today we are back in a chieftain and yes i know it's a replay mode but remember when i told you guys that my video card crapped out well it didn't really crap out it kind of i don't know it hit a glitch or something like that the video got corrupted so unfortunately i didn't get video for this game which kind of sucks because it's going to be a really really good game not from the damage perspective per se but there's so many things that happen in this game that i really want to show it because first it shows what kind of teams we're dealing with nowadays in this game second i think my thinking process was very very good in this game and i think i pulled all the right moves from the beginning all the way to the end so without further ado let's jump into this game we are in a distraction mode as you can see we got spawned in town and the opposing team got spawned in a field now normally when the opposing team gets spawned in a field and we respawn in town, there's usually some tanks that come up this ridge here, where I am right now. Eventually, that is. But none of the reds actually showed up. Not only that, majority of our greenies are gonna be sitting at the edge of town, fighting these guys over there, and they're just under fire from all the snipers that are sitting in the field. Not only that, the arty has a feast on these guys. So, guys, you have to think in a game. One of the things that you have to learn to do is find advantageous position so that you can present crossfire to the opposition. And that's exactly what I've done in this game. As you can see, I'm the only one in the field. None of the greenies even came up with that sort of idea to do something like this. And this could have been a more of a feast if I wasn't bouncing a lot of shots here. Also, my gun was kind of trolling me a little bit. So, too bad that you cannot see where I was aiming. But I'm going to try to describe it to you the best I can while we go through with this game. So, the Waffle E100 has joined me here. He's going to come with me here. And, you know, for him, this is a fantastic location. So, I don't really know what he did in this game because he didn't really put up a lot of damage well he did put up about four and a half k but should have probably put up a lot more than that anyways i prioritized the waffle there which is quite normal you want to get those auto loaders out of the game as quickly as you can you can see there's a bat shot sitting a little bit to my left which i'm going to try to look for a shot at him but because of these buildings there it's a strange position here because of the buildings there and where these guys are sitting I cannot get shots at them yet there's a crater on the left side and I cannot really go hold down when I'm in that crater so I had to actually move up here and it's dangerous living at this point in time because I'm fully exposed but I'm trying to get a shot at this bat shot he's the dangerous one that I wanted to focus but there's no shot, so I decided to reposition, go a little bit further. Just scoot up the B lane. Now, that was probably the stupidest thing I could have done. I'm in a wide open area, and I'm shooting at these guys. So, as expected, I'm going to get a couple of shells put into me. Completely stupid. I shouldn't have done that. But I thought I would remain unspotted, but I didn't. I guess my distance was, uh, wasn't was far enough. So, here I have shots at this bad chat. So, we're going to put one shell into him. But now he realizes he's in a bad position, so he's gonna run off. In the meantime, this position is good for me because that bunker in front of me is protecting me from these guys at F5. But I want to kind of lose my sixth sense over here. I want to move over a little bit to the right so I can start prioritizing some of these guys. And we know that we can present nice crossfire here. We can take him out of the game. So we're gonna prioritize this tier 9 heavy tank amx m4 but i'm gonna bounce a couple of shells off of him we put the first one in the second one bounces off of side of his turret the third one is gonna bounce off of top of his side kind of edge of his hull 
So, two unlucky bounces. The third shell. Can we take him out? At this distance, won't be that easy. We're gonna try to put a shot in the side of his turret. Yes, we take him out. All of a sudden, the T95 gets spotted. Juicy target. So we're gonna try to prioritize him. We track him because... He's actually facing us at this point in time. And from this distance, shooting him frontally, it's, uh, it's basically worthless. It would be impossible to pen him. So I'm waiting for him to turn. Once he turns and faces the greenies, I'm going to try to put a shell into him. I do shoot him, but I think that shot bounces off of his side. When you're shooting T95, you have to shoot the top portion of his superstructure in the back. Not in the front, in the back. And then you'll be able to penetrate him. So I do find a shot at him. Then we put another shot into him. And now he turns my way again. So there's no way I can pen him. So I'm not basically not shooting. But my friendlies take him out of the game. So now I have shots at the Centurion 7-1. We put one into his ass. And he's got nowhere to go. So he's going to get taken out. By somebody else not myself anyway so as you take a look at the score we're leading quite comfortably correct we have seven tanks they have four so we should be able to win this game right <laughs> uh, weird things happen in my games guys weird things anyway we scoot down the field the Yakpanzer U100 gets spotted we try to put a shell into his side we bounce because reasons in the meantime, bad chat on the enemy team takes out our IS-4. Keep that in mind. IS-4 gone. Now he takes out our Jagdpanzer E-100. So two tier tens gone, just like that. In the meantime, I'm trying to fire at this Jagdpanzer E-100. He's actually facing me now. So I'm trying to hit his bottom plate. And from this distance, which is over 500 meters, even with Chieftain's accuracy, good luck hitting bottom plate of Jagdpanzer E-100. So we're going to try to climb this ridge over here, see if we can get a little bit closer to him. Now I still prioritize Yak Panzer, I want to take him out of the game. But I'm, I didn't know that Death Star is going to poke over, and actually Death Star took a lot of heat just to take out our object, but our object was spotting for our team, so that was I think a good move on his part. At the same time now, Enemy's bad shot is engaging our IS-7. I'm looking for shots at the bad shot. I don't have any shots at him. So IS-7 is on a sliver. And he's not going to survive because Artie is going to shut him down. So all of a sudden, with all those numbers that we had, all these guys in town, all of them are dead. All of them. And the worst part is the medium tank that's sitting there at D5, our medium tank, didn't help out our heavies that got shot by the bat shot. I don't understand why. And that guy is actually... I don't know. I don't think he knows what he's doing. At this point, we're in trouble. Why? Because both me and the Waffle are in the field and we have really no eyes. I mean, we do have eyes, that medium tank that's there. If he came up to about D5, and he could be spotting for us, that would be fantastic. But I notice him, he's actually running completely the other way. And all of a sudden, he's coming into the field. So I don't understand what he's doing. He's our eyes, and he's not gonna give us any spots, which is pretty pathetic. So I decided to scoot back and go up that ridge at five lane or six lane, because that's the only way we can do something about these guys that are sitting in the field. And I'm worried about that bad chat and guess what happens? Bad chat spots me. He's playing a pretty good game so far. So you know what's gonna happen next? Artillery is looking at me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do circles. I'm gonna drive around in circles. I'm gonna try to lose the spot. And I'm gonna try to get myself up into that ridge over there. But I get spotted again. So again, I turn, I move. I try to avoid Artie and luckily Artie shoots and doesn't hit me or doesn't damage me, does track me. So now that I know that Artie has fired, I'm going to move up that ridge line and there's nothing that Batchat can do. There's no way he can poke over because if he does, he's going to get slaughtered by our waffle. And I know that both Death Star and the enemy's Jagdpanzer U100 don't have any shots at me. Artie cannot shoot, so that's a safe play for me right now. I can move up that ridge 
and I can put some pressure on this bad chuck. Now, even if I do get up that ridge and I will try to engage that bad chuck, I need to make sure that I hit him with first shot. If my shell misses, he can easily take me out of the game. If I low roll, he could easily take me out of the game. He's at 370 HP. In the meantime, by the way, in the meantime, my waffle gets taken out. Figure that out. I don't know what that guy was doing. So all of a sudden from winning this game, comfortably, we're losing it. So it's just me and that medium tank that doesn't know what he's doing versus four other tanks. Well, three tanks and an artillery. So I don't have many options at this point in time. I'm in the defensive mode right now. All I want to do is find out where that bad chat is. As, as you can see, he's doing circles around uh, that area in northeast quadrant. So I put myself in between those buildings here, or that wall here, so that Artie doesn't have shots at me. That's important right here. You need to play it right. I don't want to get slaughtered by Artie at this point in time. That would be the last thing I want. So we're going to be in a standstill here for a little bit. Because first, I'm thinking what to do. I know these two tank destroyers are in the field. I know Artie is in the field, but I am worried about the bad chat. I don't want to get caught off guard. I don't want to get caught um, driving in town. And he could be, who knows, he could be sitting in between the buildings somewhere waiting for me just to poke out. So I'm not going to give him this pleasure. I'm not going to give him myself to him that easily. So I'm rethinking the situation. I don't want to push the bad shot. I'm just double checking if he's coming here. He's not coming here. So I'm telling my medium tank, I need a target. Do something, spot something for me, please. If you can spot something for me, I can get myself up to area E5, somewhere around there. And I can help you with some, you know, firepower. So that's what I was thinking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to that location but very slowly as you can see I'm being really cautious because I don't know if I'm exposed if someone's gonna spot me first hopefully not so luckily the medium tank picks up a spot on this Yakpanzi 100 we barely see his sight and we do manage to take him out that was a good shot if this one didn't come off who knows what would have happened unfortunately a medium tank gets taken out so it's just me versus three tanks at this point in time so at this point, I, I'm like, I'm going back to where I came from. All of a sudden, I spot the bad shot. <laughs> and he didn't even realize that I was already turned this way. So we take him out easily. And he couldn't really do anything to us because only our turret was poking out. So a little bit lucky there. But in reality, I had a feeling that he was going to be coming from behind. Here, as you can see, I'm hiding in between here because I know that Death Star might be looking at me. At this point, I was hoping that the artillery doesn't just blind shoot me. And it happened to me in some games in the past. And this already was no slouch. You actually put up some good damage in this game. So we're gonna come up here. Now I know I haven't spotted the uh, Death Star. So I know he's not anywhere close to me. So I know I can come up here. Bad chat is gone. So I don't have to worry about him. All I need to do is come to that building that's in front of me. I can poke out from around the building and see if I can spot the Death Star. That was my thinking anyway. And that position is already safe too because Artie's in a field and uh, when I'm behind this building there's no way Artie can shoot me. So I'm approaching this position really really slowly. I'm gonna just poke out from around here, see if I can spot the Death Star. Poking out, poking out. All of a sudden I get spotted. I'm like oh shit the guy is behind me. So I quickly make that maneuver. I turn behind the tank. He fires. He hits the dead body. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna aim a shot at him. He shows me his sight. We put it in. We're gonna hack the wall. Artie shoots and he misses. And he misses. That was perfect position where I was at. And I knew at this point in time that the game is mine. I knew I can outspot the Artie. I know where the Artie is. I can utilize the terrain to play to the advantage of Chieftain and I should be able to win this game easily. Now the question remains, and I was asking myself at this point in time, how in the hell did the Death Star get behind me? Because when I was coming up that ridge, I couldn't really spot anything. And there was nothing in the field. Because otherwise, if he would be in the field, I would have spotted him, but I didn't. 
So I think he must have been cruising up the five lane and he must have been behind something. When I was climbing up, I didn't really see him. So sneaky play by him, but no cigar. Anyway, all these dead tanks that were in the way there, they really helped me avoid that shell from him. And I knew that in a Death Star, you have to aim that shot quite long. So I knew I had a chance, but that was scary. Anyway, we spot the Artie. He didn't know where I was coming from. I spotted him earlier, so we put a shell into him and we secure the game for the team. So not particularly high damage game, guys, but the events and what happened in this game, how things developed, how we were winning the game, then how we threw the game almost, or the bat shot actually, the enemy's bat shot did a lot of good things in this game, flanking our heavy tanks and our tank destroyers to shoot them down, right? But at the end of the day, I had to put my carry hat on and figure out how to close this game out. And I think that was the difficult part and that's why I enjoy games like this. It's not a high damage game, it's only a class 2. I didn't have much assisted damage. I put only 4.5k damage, which is not really that much for Chieftain when you think about it. But the decisions I made, except for the decision when I was cutting across the open field where people could shoot at me, that was stupid. But other than that, all the other decisions that I made in this game, I think were spot on. And that's basically was what won us the game. Proper positioning, proper decision making, and quick reaction I think won me this game. Otherwise, we probably would have lost this. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have few more Chieftain replays, but I'm probably gonna stagger them over time. I just had too many class 1 games, but I want to show you some of these still. So you should anticipate some more Chieftain in the future. Anyway, that's it for today. Until next time, happy tanking, Space Bandit, check it out. Thank you